If you look on the northern coast of the Sea of Azov, you will notice these five strangely uniform peninsulas. These peninsulas jut out from the landscape at around a 45 degree angle, and they slowly get larger the further you go west. So in today's video, let's explore how these peninsulas have formed. So to understand how these peninsulas formed, we first have to understand how the Sea of Azov formed and its geography. So the Sea of Azov, and thus these peninsulas, are very young geologically. The Sea of Azov is estimated to be only around 6,000 years old. Before this time, the Sea of Azov was actually land with a major spillway going through the center of it, which was named the Monich Kerch Spillway. And this actually went from the Caspian Sea into the Black Sea. However, as the glaciers were melting at the end of the last ice age, the Sea of Azov filled up and became what we see it as today. Now something that's really important to mention about the Sea of Azov is that it is extremely shallow. Despite it being around 15,000 square miles, it has a maximum depth of just 14 meters or around 46 feet. And it has an average depth of around 7 meters or just 23 feet. But now that we've discussed the Sea of Azov, let's go into how these peninsulas have actually formed. So these peninsulas are what are known as spits. And spits are long and thin peninsulas made of sand and formed in a process which is known as longshore drift. And the process of longshore drift is created based on the angle of waves hitting the shore. So as you can see in this diagram, the waves are hitting the shore at an angle. And as the waves are hitting the shore, it is moving sand up at the angle of the waves, which is known as swash, and then moving the sand back down as the waves are receding, which is known as backwash. This process of longshore drift creates a slow zigzag movement of sand. However, there's another way the sand is moved. So as the waves are receding, sometimes they will be moved into what is known as the longshore current. And this current essentially acts as a river which quickly moves the sand along the shore. So this process of longshore drift is exactly what is occurring in the Sea of Azov here. In general, the waves along the northern coast of the Sea of Azov are hitting the shore, moving westward, whereas the shore is roughly northeast-southwest. But this process still doesn't explain how these spits have formed like they have. And to understand this, we have to look at the rivers along the northern coast. So here's a map of some of the major rivers along this northern coast. And as you can see, these spits form where these rivers outflow into the ocean. And the reason that these spits form where rivers outflow is because these rivers have gotten sediment from upstream and have deposited that sediment on the sea floor. And as I mentioned earlier, the Sea of Azov is very shallow. And that means that the sediments that these rivers deposit are very close to the surface. And what this does is slow down the longshore current and causes the sand it has picked up to be deposited there. So here is just a diagram that incorporates this longshore drift process into forming spits. So as you can see by this chart, the zigzag movement of the sand from the coast is moving along. However, it reaches this spot of shallow or calm water. And in this spot, this process slows down and causes more sediment to be deposited. And this essentially creates a positive feedback loop where the spit will continue to grow because the longshore drift is slowing down as it reaches the end of the spit. Now something that this diagram doesn't show that is the case for our spits is that the longshore current would also be colliding with the spit and depositing its sediment, further growing the spit. And a feature you will notice about spits is that they have curved ends, and this is because the waves are refracting or bending around the end of the spit and causing more sand to be deposited there as well. And you can actually see the previous spots in which there was an end of the spit. All of these arcs here used to be the end of spits. Now, one more thing you might be wondering is why do these spits get larger the further west we go? Well, the explanation is pretty simple. It is just based on how the sand accumulates. So this first spit 
is only getting the sand from the longshore drift that occurs in the roughly 50 miles before it. However, the next bit is getting all of the sand from before it and some sand that went around the previous bit. So continue this with the next one, which is getting the sand from before it and potentially from the two before. And so all of this accumulation of sediment leads to the final spit being the longest at around 28 miles. So to recap, these peninsulas that jut out into the Sea of Azov were formed from a process known as longshore drift. In this process, sand is picked up from the coast and moved along the shore through the longshore current. However, this current reached spots where rivers have deposited sediment and thus slowed down. And this slowing of the longshore current caused sand to be deposited down and created the long spits that we see today. But that's going to be all for today's video. If you learned something new, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.